Helicopters para-dropping NSG commandos on Friday morning, more than 30 hours after terrorists took control of Nariman House. Serious delay, experts say, because in urban terrorism, usually the roof is secured as soon as possible before the terrorists can settle down. The Home Ministry agrees they were not fully prepared. We are looking into all these aspects in future, how to deal with these types of problems. You know, every problem is of different nature. As we have prepared for uh, jungle warfare, different types of forces are being raised. This is totally a different problem. Again, we'll have to think anew about this. When the attack began on Wednesday night, it took the local police nearly two hours to understand the magnitude of the attack. The attack began at 9.40 p.m. The local police reached the spot at 9.48 p.m. Local DCP Nagre Patel reached the spot at 10.15 p.m. And the Mumbai Police Commissioner reached the spot at 10.55 p.m. But the Union Home Ministry could speak to the Maharashtra DG only at 11.45 p.m. The decision was taken to send the NSG but the elite commandos waited for almost two and a half hours to get on a flight to Mumbai. They landed in Mumbai around 4.30 a.m but had to wait for 30 minutes to get a bus to the spot. In fact, sources say there was hardly any coordination between the local administration and the central government at that point. Officials involved in the operation say the NSG had to wait till about 6 a.m. on Thursday morning to be briefed about the maps and layouts of the Oberoi and the Taj because ministers were busy getting their own briefing. At 7.15 a.m., NSG personnel moved into their positions but by then, the body count had increased steadily. With Manoj Gupta and Shumon Chakrabarti in New Delhi, Gaurav Kalra.